Once a month or so, we lured cheeky, chatty, health-loving chef Gary Steele to Studio 4 to turn a few fabulous ingredients from the fridge into a divine sandwich casserole or cassoulet. It is my pleasure to welcome Chef Steele back to Studio 4 to cook some more. You looked aghast we when I said We have not cassoulet for a while. Well, no, we just haven't cassoulet for a while. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. I like to cassoulet. I'm sure you do, <laughs> my darling. But uh, your private time when, when you're I alone know. is just for Don't you. Don't tell it's anybody. Not, nobody, nobody. It's our secret about Man. my cassoulet experience. What a show today, huh? What a show. Like mega names on. Oh, no. I know, mega names. Emma Forrest Emma, that was and really May Moore. Cool, well, you yeah. were hysterical. Well, when you I couldn't believe in. that May Moore was in the building. I know, you go, May Moore's here. Your voice was high. <laughs> no. It did. You said, May I, Moore's I here. May Moore's you, here. I am very rarely starstruck, but that's a name. I know. Right there, that's a name. You were starstruck, and I. Maybe you can get a free CD. No, I'm. I'm oh, uh, well, actually, not. she was so sweet. Yes, she did. She was so loving. I'll burn she, one for I you. Said, I actually said I'll go buy it, and she handed me one. It oh, was so how sweet lovely! Of her. How fabulous! Okay, Mrs. We're going to make. That's a lot of onion you're putting in that salmon. That's a lot of onion salmon. in a lot of salmon, and that is just chopped salmon, just chopped sockeye, mm -hmm. for, uh, wild sockeye salmon. Okay. Just chopped up a bit of onion in there, a bit of pepper. Sockeye the best? So I like sockeye just for, for this? this, because we're, we're doing a burger. Here's our deal for today. We're doing, we're doing a, a burger. We're doing a fridge grab today. Okay. All of the things that we're using today, I grabbed from the fridge. So, in the fridge I had a piece of sockeye salmon. What I did was, I took it out and I chopped it up. Always got onions in the house, and I had Thai basil. So, um, what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about was, um, you know this old statement, you are what you eat. Yes, I do know that. So, y you are what you eat, it's very, very true. But I want Adele you to, Davis. Yeah, but I want you to get she away died. from the whole you are what you eat thing. Right? I want you to get into more, you are what you put in your fridge. Okay. And so if you're putting good into your fridge, then you're getting good out of your fridge. Right. And that's a big thing. I want uh, people to start looking at that. That's why I shop at Whole Foods, because I want the food to be food and not made. Somebody told me in the last 24 hours... You mean organic food. Or I, I want it to be food. Well, some I, of it's not organic, well, but what, fresh, lovely. What I heard in the last 24 hours, which really answered it for me, was I want to eat things God made, not what man made. Okay. And that's a big deal for me. So this is this so is no my, genetically modified for you. I don't do the genetically modified too much. I try and avoid it. Um, so we're just going to mix this around now to make a burger, a salmon burger, because this is a very loose um, and could uh, fall apart. You could put an egg in here to um, uh, firm it up a little bit, but um, if it doesn't, what I do to make a, a burger form is I take one of these you know dishes from Whole Foods. I cut, cut the bottom off of it. And I put the salmon in here and uh, put a, a good, you want about an inch deep, so you want to put a bit in there. Yeah. And then we press it down. How clever. And this will make. You could do that in a cookie cutter too. Yeah, right? a cookie cutter. I just didn't but have you one like in the to house. Save money. Well, and this is in the house, so I thought I'll, I'll grab it out of the fridge. Well, that's and a then good idea. Lift it up, Look at and you. you have your burger ready. So there's not, there's not an egg, nothing in that. No, there's I didn't. Onion, there's Thai basil. And uh, basil. Uh, a little bit of pepper. It's quite a delicate thing, so we're going to put it into the skillet over the heat. A hot heat because I'm uh, thinking it's going to fall apart any it minute. It will, and and so you want to put it on a hot heat just so that it um, uh, does sear on the bottom and it doesn't right. break apart. So it still would taste good if it broke apart. It would taste. <laughs> it's going to taste stunning. So okay. I'm just changing my board because we used a um, fish on that one. All right. I'm going to do something really cool for you from the fridge. I've discovered these products, these Fontaine Sante products. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear a lot about this hum, this Fontaine Santi hummus, um, in the next little while. And, and hummus it, is just chickpeas, right? Just little oil, um, yeah, little lemon. The chickpeas, and um, but they do like this one with roasted nuts. Ooh. This one with um, roasted red pepper. One of my favorite things to do for Davy on the weekend, because I always will have some mashed potatoes or things Davey, left over. Davy, your partner. My partner, yeah. Is I, I, I used to call him David. David, yeah, no, he's now becoming. It's Davey. Well, he's sweeter this Things week. Things are heating yeah, up. Yeah, he's become sweeter this week. Are you having a cassoulet? Uh, no, 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 no. Or any kids, let me oh, tell okay. you. That conversation's been done and gone it's and done. all. It's done. So I just take warmed mashed potatoes, a little bit of that beautiful Fontaine Santi. Now, mm -hmm. I want you to read the ingredients. Do you have your glasses on? For that I don't need hummus. glasses. 
she everything says, in as there. She holds it as she holds away. it ten feet away from her. First, it's in Francais: chickpeas, water, tahini, sesame butter, canola, lemon, um, mm -hmm, concentrate, sea salt, garlic juice, salt, basil, olive oil. So what? Or something what like that, that. No preservatives. That, there's no preservatives in this food. I love that about this. Yeah. And. Um, uh, it really is. So that's what I'm talking about. What goes into your fridge is what you end up exactly, being. Exactly, because so. then you're not tempted. If it's not there, you can't grab exactly. it. Exactly. So we're just mm. going to lift this, hopefully in one. Look at that. I can't believe you tilt did that. Your, tilt your skillet so that you don't splash and turn it over. That's a tip, so it doesn't splash. I'm amazed it's stuck together. I don't really? get that. <laughs> just the, because I pressed it into the form. Okay, so... It, if you press it and put them in the fridge and got them colder, I bet it's even better. Much better, right? yeah, yeah. And the uh, the magic of television didn't allow me to do that today, but uh, okay. yeah, much better. Um, the history of the fridge. Let's talk about the history of the fridge. All right. The, uh, you <laughs> used to have something in your house. What was it called? An ice box. It was an ice box. You, I can't believe you're I'm old enough. I'm 180 years old. <laughs> you are 100 <laughs> years old. It's just fabulous. Yes. Um, okay. Fridges, ice boxes. Um, up until the 1920s, 1930s, were the preferred mode of chilling your food. They were the only mode, and my it, dear. It, it, it's true. It was that or a hole in the ground on the farm. Or outside in the garden. Exactly. You know, in the winter, but in the summer. It's what you have. The root so, cellar. What used to happen is that um, ice was harvested um, from the lakes and rivers here in North America. and. Right. Um, when the lakes and rivers, as the populations grew and the lakes and rivers got more and more polluted, they um, had to build factories to make yes. ice. So you're yes. building a factory to make ice. They discovered the gases that made ice could be made into smaller units, and that's where fridges oh, came from. Was that how Freon and all of that's that came exactly about? That's exactly right, yeah. Well, who knew? Because, you know, the horse would come down. I guess you weren't born yet. Darling, not when even. When the horse and the wagon for a good 30, and the ice 40 man years. <laughs> came down the street. <laughs> winnie, winnie, nay, nay, and yeah. you knew the ice was there. <laughs> winnie, winnie, nay, nay. Well. You're killing me. It's just where fabulous. Where were you? <laughs> just so, a twinkle in your mother's I wasn't, eye. I wasn't, I don't even think she was a twinkle, darling. Oh, so maybe your mother <laughs> wasn't She doesn't alive. know about what ice boxes were. Only I was alive. Okay, camera has uh -huh. to get Leslie, our executive <laughs> producer, fanning. Get Leslie. She it's fans just every time fabulous. you cook. Every time I cook, there's somebody with a big board that makes me laugh. I know. Okay, so from our fridge that um, uh, we ha presently have, I've taken yes. some beautiful grape tomatoes. Beautiful. Some beautiful oranges. I'm just making a salad here okay. to go with our How salmon. How beautiful. Where's the bun? No bun. Oh, I no thought we were bread. Having salmon no, burger. we're lowering the carb here. Oh, okay. Right there. Just put that right onto our plate. I want to move this I'm getting away on from to there so it doesn't burn our counter. I'm We're leaving now. <laughs> taking, <laughs> Goodbye. Taking a little bit of our dressing, just a generic, this is just a, a ginger dressing I made, nothing uh, special, a little oil, a little right. ginger, a little um, orange juice in there because yeah. we have an orange. Um, but that's not out of a bottle. No. So it's what? Orange juice, just oil, orange juice, little lemon? Oil, lemon, vinegar, mm. little um, mustard in there. A little cracked black pepper. Two okay. meals we've made from the fridge so far. Okay. One with this um, hum from uh, the uh, Fontaine Santee. Not hummus, hum. hum. And really keep your eye out for this in the I next uh, little while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and, and you have on occasion, but Barely that's just I do the hum. showering issue. But we'll <laughs> yes. get past that. Okay. Okay, so now, last thing I'm going to make. I'm going to take another skillet, which I have right here. I'm going to put it onto our um, element. How much time do we have left? We have about so two minutes. Oh, so you're so going to have gonna to be the rush. fastest pineapple slicer in the world. So we're going to take our pineapple and just slice it. I've left the skin on. I want to leave the skin on because I want the visual. That's my, my big thing. We're going to take the right. pineapple and put it into a dry skillet, no oil and just let that warm through. Really? Yeah. Just this could be a through. to be continued series yeah. if you don't hurry. <laughs> yes. We're going to take two minutes. our plate. We have two minutes. OK. Mm. We're going to take our plate, and we're going to take a little bit of this beautiful romaine lettuce. So, so far. You cut romaine, right? Well, I, I am cutting this just for this dish. It's apparently allowed. 
No, I, I don't mind doing it, but I tear most letters. Okay. I, I don't cut very much letters, I tear most letters. I'm going to take a little bit of our tzatziki from Fontaine Saint. Yum. And this is so like yogurt cream. And yeah, this onion is onion and cucumber. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. And it, look how thick and creamy this is. Oh, this mm. is good. And put a little dollop on the side of our. Plate I like that with the there. salmon burger. Yes. Again, some of our tomatoes. So you notice you'll I'm notice helping. you're helping. Well, you were <laughs> yeah. going to shuck peas, but I've done that for you. Oh. We're actually going to use them in this salad. So you'll notice that just from the fridge. We've made three dishes just from the fridge. Peas. A few little garden. peas from the garden onto our plate. And they're fresh peas. Fresh I love English fresh peas. Love fresh, fresh English, fresh English peas. peas. Take our... Um, what about your environmental footprint if they came from the England? Um, I, these did not come from the <laughs> oh, England. These okay. came from the, the North America. The but North they were, America. Okay. They were. So take your pineapple. Put it onto your plate. Would you grill both sides? Normally? Yeah, just turn it and, and grill, just to warm it through, really. Yum. All right? And then take a different kind of uh, dressing. This one is a balsamic vinegar. Mm. Only balsamic? Well, it, the, the key ingredient is balsamic vinegar. Okay. Okay? So balsamic dressing. Yes. And that Ooh. produces three dishes from your fridge that are what I call the fridge grabs. So you can actually, and, and don't be scared to take something like a hummus and introduce it into In this. the potato. Here's my deal. Don't beat it in there. Just fold it in like I did. Okay, and, and the potato that. was hot, or the should be hot. The potato is warm, yeah. And then you just fold it in, and the potato warms yeah. the hummus, or the hum. Hum, yes. And it all works. Shop at Whole Foods, buy food that's real, made by God, not by man, and that will take it, the stress away from you well, are what you eat. Well, who knew? On it, baby. I'm on it for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're Have a happy weekend. I will, and you. Okay.